Jada Pinkett Smith shared, two days ago I was at home when I unexpectedly walked into a room and found Will and Diddy kissing and doing inappropriate things to each other. Jada Pinkett Smith talked about a difficult time in her relationship with her husband, Will Smith. It was one of those instances where you can tell they were doing it. While it initially caught me off guard, I knew it was true because Will was always talking about what if it happened. Because of what I saw, I'm officially filing for divorce. Where he was really controlling and she felt so restricted and trapped in the marriage. And their marriage has faced its share of challenges over two decades that they've spent together. Jada Pinkett Smith brought herself to the red table, talked about pain, healing, and yes, Jada's entanglement with August Alsina. And in one of her episodes of her show Red Table Talk, Jada shared about her journey of self-discovery, which led her husband to feel a little bit left behind. Yeah. You expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. During her show on Facebook, Jada discussed her marriage with therapist Esther Peral, and the conversation focused on Jada's efforts to find her own path outside of the marriage. And she explained what happened when she tried to have more control over her own life within the marriage and in a broader way. And Jada went on to say this specifically. Specifically for me, in regards to redefining my marriage as a life partnership was the necessity of autonomy for myself and for Will. And according to Jada, she wanted to go out and explore her relationship outside of the constraints of the traditional ideas of marriage because it just wasn't working for her at all. So when I think back about where I was, some of my insensitivity, some of my inconsideration. And from there, this is what she added. We went on that journey to find that autonomy and to find the true authentic bond outside of obligation. I don't want you to be obligated. Jada did admit that she felt the pressure to be the perfect wife and to support Will Smith's dreams. And she spoke a little bit more about this and uh, this is what she had to say, it's pretty interesting. Whatever he wants to build, you're there to support that. Our whole life looked like his dream. I'm his energy source, that's great. But I've got to create part of this life that is designed and looks like me. So it was pretty much whatever Will said goes and that's how it had to go. It's Will's dream, everybody had to support it and that was very restricting for Jada. Jada also revealed this. He felt abandoned at first, he felt really abandoned. You never want to hurt the person that you love. You never want to create instability that way. They could decide on an amicable separation, prioritizing their own happiness and the well-being of their children while continuing to co-parent harmoniously. However, gaining her own emotional independence from her husband been proved to be a very difficult task and she described it as excruciating in terms of the whole process and it was one of the most difficult things that she's ever had to face in her life. It was such a big challenge for her to break free from the idea that Will Smith needed to fulfill a certain role for her as she realized it wasn't fair for him. She also went on to share this and a lot of it had to do with my father issues. I just realized one day this man is not your father. Now, in recent times, the couple, Will and Jada, they have been showing a strong and united front to the world. Will Smith and Jada tied the knot back in 1997. And before that, Will was actually previously married to Cherie Zampino, who they have a son together, and his name is Trey. Cherie and I actually have sat down to talk about it. And we talk about our journey, and we've come so far. We've been, Cherie and I have been doing this for, Trey's 25, we've yeah. been doing it for 23 years. After meeting and getting to know Jada, Will realized that he was actually in the wrong relationship with the wrong person. And he even recounted a moment when he was out for dinner with Cherie, and he found himself crying uncontrollably in a restroom stall. And that experience made him realize that he just couldn't continue being with Cherie, and that's when he went for Jada. Now, Will and Cherie separated in 1995, and he began dating Jada then, and they got married in 1997, and while come their first child, Jaden Smith, together in 1998, and their daughter, Rollo Smith, was born in the year 2000. And that's where I'm gonna end off this one, guys, but I'm curious to know, chime in in the comment section, like, what are your thoughts about this, you know, marriage in the traditional sense? Are you for it? Are you against it? I know with Jada and Will, they now see each other as lifelong partners, like, they are partners in life, 
versus looking at it as some contractual obligation to be married together and for Will to be fulfilling a specific role for her and vice versa. And just putting all these pressures, they said, uh-uh, that's not working for them at all. But hey, for some people, the parameters of marriage look different. And for others, it works. For some, it doesn't work. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this, guys? Let me know down below. And thanks for hanging out with me in another video here on FTD News. I'll catch you guys next time. Boom.